All right, so after looking at your next equation, your flowchart questions, right, we noticed that we have both an x and y squared term, so we have to ask ourselves the next question, which is, do they have the same sign? And we say no to that, so that's why we know it's a hyperbola. All right, so with a hyperbola, um, the standard form is supposed to look like one of these which means we have two quantities that we have to complete the square with, the x and the y. So we're going to have to move some things around. And actually, I'm going to start color coding so that we can see the differences of completing the square, because we're going to have to do this twice. All right, so first I'm going to rearrange it so x's are together and y's are together. And I know that I'm going to have to move this 36 to the other side. All right, so now my x's are grouped together and my y's are grouped together. Now I need to rewrite um, them and treat them kind of like separate units because I have to complete the square twice, one for the x's and once for the y's. So 16x squared plus 64x. And there's going to be a blank. And then this is going to be a separate part, negative 4y squared plus 24 y and then all of this is supposed to equal 36. Okay, um, we need to GCF and also do the GCF here. So when I take the GCF out here, 16 comes out, x squared plus 4x plus blank. And the GCF over here is negative 4, so negative 4, y squared minus 6y plus blank equals 36 plus 16 blank plus negative 4 blank. And remember, those have multipliers on them because we factored out. All right, so then we're going to do our template here. x plus, right, and over here is going to be a y minus. Okay, so remember we do have a 16 out in front still. To get this blank, we're going to take this b term, divide it by 2, and then take that term and square it. So over here in this blank, it's going to be 16 times 4. Over here, we still have a negative 4 up front. To get this, we need to take our b term, divide it by 2, square it. So that means over here, it's going to be negative 4 times 9. OK. So all that we have to do is clean up this side over here. So on this side, I have 36 plus 64 minus 36. So all of that is going to equal 64. All right, so we're almost there. We've completed the square. On my hyperbola conic sections, though, they're supposed to be equal to 1. And right now we have it equal to 64. So the last step is we need to take it and divide by 64, divide by 64, divide by 64, and simplify. So 16 divided by 64 is one fourth, so that means x plus two is on top. Quantity squared divided by four minus, and then um, four over sixty-four reduces to sixteen. So we're going to have quantity y minus three squared over sixteen equals to one. So now it's in a good form so that I can graph it. So hit pause, graph it, and then check. Um, your work. All right, so check your graph. Make sure that you've graphed it correctly. Our center is negative 2, 3. We have vertices of negative 4, comma, 3, 0, 3. Those are our asymptotes there. All right, so asking yourself uh, the series of questions from our flowchart, you're going to determine that this is a circle. So on your circle equation, standard form, looks like this, where x's are grouped together, y's are grouped together, equals r squared. So that means you're going to have to rearrange this again. So we've got x squared plus 4x. 
and I'm going to kind of segregate it because we're going to have to complete the square twice. And I'm going to move the 3 over. Alright, so now we're ready to complete the square on the x's and then on the y's. So to figure out what um, number I have to add here, we're going to take half, square it, and this time we don't have a multiplier to worry about. And on the other side, we take half, square it, and so we know what number to add to the other side. Okay, um, so cleaning up this side, I have 3 plus 4 plus 9 equals 16. And that actually completes everything that we need for a circle. So go ahead and graph it and check your work. Make sure, uh, so hit pause here so you can check your work in just a sec. All right, so check your work. Make sure that your circle looks like this. All right, one more example to go. So you're going to ask yourself the series of questions that we go through to determine what type of conic shape this is. And you should come up with that this should be an ellipse. So we're going to have to segregate our x's and y's again and rewrite them. Leave a space, plus 9y squared, plus 54y, plus... Um, and blank equals negative 49 because we have to move that over to the other side. All right, so we're going to complete the square on x's. There's no GCF to worry about. So we have x minus 2. We're going to square it. And then this one we do have a GCF we have to take out. It's the 9. So 9's on the outside, y plus 3, quantity squared, so that means that we're adding a 9 times 9 over here. Alright, so cleaning it up, we have x minus 2 quantity squared plus 9 times y plus 3 quantity squared equals, this side is going to be 36. Our ellipse is supposed to equal to 1 though, so next we're going to divide by 36 everywhere. So my final equation is going to look like x minus 2 quantity squared over 36 plus y plus 3 quantity squared over 4 equals 1. So go ahead and hit pause and then check your graph with me. Alright, so check your work. Make sure that it looks like this.